welcome to all of you in this video we are going to see some rules of graphics to identify the visible and hidden lines which are mostly applicable in projections of solid numericals so let's see what are the what are these rules so rule number 1 the outline of any view or object are always visible means the outer edges of any view should be shown with uh, with continuous line that is boundary lines of any views are never dotted means the meaning of this first rule is nothing but outline of any view is represented by the continuous thin line which will be never dotted so first of all we are going to see what are the rules and with the help of some images we are going to see how to apply these rules then rule number 2 all the edges and faces which are towards the observer are always visible therefore their projections in the other views are shown by full lines okay the meaning of this uh, as per the position of observer or the view point the edges the faces which are nearer to the observer they are always visible completely visible rule number 3 is that all the edges or faces which are away from the observer or far away from the observer in a particular view uh, that is towards the reference line are not visible means the edges which are away from the observer or somewhat nearer to the reference line means nearer to the x y line such type of edges are not visible and that will be get represented with the dashed line or dotted line rule number 4 when two lines representing the edge edges crossing each other one of them must be a visible continuous line and second will be dotted or dashed line means when two lines are intersecting with each other in a particular view so out of these two lines one will be completely visible and second will be invisible next rule the two continuous lines never cross each other and the last one two hidden lines never cross each other means when the intersecting lines are there both will be not complete continuous line dark line and both will be not a continuous uh, both will be not a uh, dashed line okay so let's see how these rules are applicable to complete uh, one of the diagram in a projections of solid so here as a reference a single st uh, two stage numerical having the one of the uh, axis or edge of the object is inclined to the hp means uh, only one inclination is considered in that case uh, the first diagram second diagram and third diagram we have completed here and while completing the fourth diagram that is the final diagram in inclination with one plane Uh, these rules we have to apply that is the first rule outlines of an objects are always visible so here you can observe uh, i think all of you knows the uh, procedure to complete this diagram the very first step is we have to take the projections from each and every point from this view vertically downward and from this top view horizontally towards right side and as per the intersection of respective points we have to locate the new points in the particular last view such as from a dash point vertical downward and from a point horizontal towards right the intersection of these two will be the a1 a1 then from b point horizontally towards right side and from b dash point vertically downward so just first of all we will see how to locate all the points you can observe here then from c dash point vertically downward from c point horizontal already taken so this one will be the c1 then from d point horizontal and from d dash point vertical this will be the d1 likewise for upper surface 1 2 3 4 1 dash vertically downward one from horizontal 1 1 then two dash from vertically downward two from horizontal 2 1 4 1 3 one so number of corner points or number of nomenclature number of points are present in the view we have to represent all the points by taking the projection and then we have to apply these rules the very first rule is outline of an any view is always visible or outer boundary of any view is always visible so we have to identify the points of outer boundary such as when i am going to start to connect this point from a a1 in anti clockwise direction so outer boundary will be a to b b to 2 2 2 3 3 to 4 4 to d d to 1 so this is the outer boundary or outline of the object so it it will be always visible so we can observe here it will be get represented with continuous dark line so this is the application of rule number 1 all outline of any view or uh, 
boundary of any view is always visible then second rule okay all the edges and faces which are towards the observer are visible so in this view the remaining edges that we have to identify and we have to take the reference of observer means for completing this view the observer position will be here and when we are going to observe from upper side uh, from this arrow mark in this object the two faces are there having the nomenclature 1 2 3 4 and a b c d out of these two the 1 2 3 4 is nearer to the observer so as per the rule number 2 all the edges and faces which are towards the observer are, are always visible so 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 these edges will be completely visible but as per the rule number 1 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 these two edges already represented represented as a dark so remaining two edges 1 to 2 and 1 to 4 we have to represent as a dark as well as the edge a to 1 it is also on the upper side nearer to the observer that will be completely visible so a to 1 also we have to represent with the help of dark and 1 to 2 and 1 to 4 okay now the remaining edges that we have to observe here b to c and c to d these are remaining to represent as well as c to 3 also these three edges are now remaining to represent so as per the rule number 3 we can observe these edges c to 3 that is in this view as per the observer position it is away from the observer so as per the rule number 3 also we can represent c to 3 as a dash or if you are going to consider the second rule uh, means the fourth one when two lines representing the edges are crossing or intersecting of the two lines will be there out of that one will be visible and second will be dash such as you can observe here the d to c to d edge is remaining to represent and it is intersecting with one to four edge and that one to four is already visible so if such type of condition or situation will be there when two lines are intersecting in that case one will be visible and second will be completely invisible that will be get represented as a dash so you can apply the rule number 3 or rule number 4 so c to d this line will be dash because it is intersecting with one of the edge 1 2 4 and that is already visible as per the rule number 2 okay similarly b to c this edge is also remaining to represent and it is also intersecting with edge 1 to 2 that is already visible or dark one so as per the rule number 3 4 this line will be dash one okay then the rule number 5 and 6 is also there in addition one more rule is there if two dashed line are intersecting or joining to the particular point and the third line is also uh, we are going to represent from that point in that case the third line will be dash one or as per the rule number three we can observe here the c23 line is remaining to represent and as per the observer position c23 is far away from the observer so that c23 line is also invisible so in this way we can apply this rule and we can easily identify which edges are visible which edges are invisible so remember the rules and try to apply in a particular diagram to represent it okay so thank you so much for watching the video